From the six week grading period to the inspirational video, we've, we've got, got the scoop. scoop. Please sign for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is Friday, March 11, 2016. TGIF. In this day of music history, the first jukebox was introduced. Also, the Beatles song Yesterday was the most recorded song to date, having 446 recordings. Jelly, did you know that just like fingers, everyone has different tongues? I didn't know that, actually. Hmm? Well, did you know that today is Johnny Knoxville's birthday? And if it's your birthday, too, we wish you a happy, happy birthday! birthday. Science Club has five seats left for the science conference in San Diego during spring break. Get your permission slips as soon as possible, and if you are attending the Disney Youth Education Trip, full payments must be due by the end of this month before spring break. There will be a meeting Thursday, and the UCI mentors are entering their final exams next week, so don't miss out. If you are looking for something to do this Saturday morning or need time away from your lab family, then attend the WIM program. Bring assignments to work on, especially if it's math or science. The UCI tutors will be here this last Saturday for tutoring is April 23rd. Very well, Jelly. So remember to ask Ms. Park if you wish to get more information about this. And today is the six week progress notice too. So if you can still turn in those missing assignments, do so. The senioritis is really catching up on me. I know. Well, did you know that there's a program that helps you with your academics? But mm -hmm. since you're a senior, you're too old. You know, you can't join anymore. Oh, man. Well, if you're a sophomore right now and you still have, you still have a chance to be part of the Upward Bound program, here we have Patty with some insights about the program. Hi, I'm Patty Morales. Take a look at the special report on the Upward Bound program. Hi, so I'm here with Lily, the Academic Advisor from Upward Bound. Lily, can you tell us what the Upward Bound program is all about? So the Upward Bound program is a program at Cal State Fullerton that works with Santa Ana Unified Schools to help students not only uh, graduate from high school, but be prepared to get admitted to college and graduate from college as well. So tell us, who can join this program? So the Upward Bound program, we try to recruit our students coming out of 8th grade, so incoming ninth graders can join the Upward Bound program if they're attending Century, Santa Ana, Valley, or Saddleback. So what does the Upward Bound program offer? So we offer on-site tutoring um, at each of our high schools as well as a once a month Saturday academy that focuses on leadership development and college readiness as well as providing academic advising. We have a six-week summer program which has students taking content and the campus. last three weeks of the program is a residential portion where students live on campus and actually get that college experience. We also have um, college field trips so um, several field trips throughout the year to visit different college campuses to expose our students to different types of colleges that um, are available for them to apply. You're with Andrea, a freshman who is involved in the Upper Brown program. So Andrea, can you tell us about your experience during the summer program? Um, so during the summer program we uh, got to get lessons from actual uh, university teachers and they really taught interesting topics. Um, we got to go on field trips which was really fun. My favorite part was especially the food because they had a great snack bar and an ice cream machine. It was good because we got to grow and get to know each other like in a deeper level. So that was it for today's special report. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, Patty. The Century Visual and Performing Arts will be presenting their band and orchestra festival concert this Thursday, March 10th in the TCC at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for adults and 3 for students. 
and for siblings under five, it is free. This is the second to last concert, so make sure to attend. You guys are well aware that the Safe School Ambassadors have been showing and have been showing anti-bullying awareness. Yesterday was self-harm, so you had to wear orange. Yeah, so today we were supposed to wear red and show anger awareness. Before school, you can pledge to be Sigma free by seeing the person and not the illness. Students have the opportunity to pledge. There will be a pie contest at the quad and a resource fair, so make sure to give up a few minutes of your time and make a difference in your life or someone else's. So if you have a ticket, then you can enter a raffle to be able to throw a pie at, our, at a couple of our favorite administration. Fun in the sun. Yeah, let's talk about sports now, shall we? We shall, Jelly. Today at Santa Ana High, the boys varsity and JV volleyball will go against the Saints. Last night, our baseball team took another win against La Quinta, increasing the record in the Elks tournament to 3-1. and one. They are scheduled to play today against Korean Lutheran here in the game 5 of the Elks tournament if it is not rained out. Good luck, boys. Every Friday, we will like to give you a dose of inspiration, and since baseball is in full swing, we thought we shared this positive message from Miami Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez. When you go to the field and they just cut the grass and you smell that, it reminds me so much of when I was back in Cuba. You know, living in Cuba, you didn't really have much to go play baseball. And sometimes you didn't have a ball, you didn't have a glove. The most exciting moment, I think, it was uh, one time I didn't have a glove for like two years, and my mom got me one. I don't know how, but she got me a glove and she made it to practice. So that I was really, really, really excited. It's a lot of kids that you know that they go to practice every day and, and they go to the fields and they hit balls, and it's always fun to see them, you know, playing like that. Because one day, you know, I was there and I was just, just playing in a baseball field. And you know, I'll say that dream big. Nobody, you know, nobody or anybody can tell you, oh, you can't do it. I don't believe in that. I think that you can accomplish anything that you want if you work hard and, and you do the right things. And uh, I believe that. Don't you think? Yeah, I would. Hey, are you going to the Blacklight Run tomorrow with Key Club? Yeah, I am. Are you? I'll be. Let's hear more about Key Club and what Myra had to ask them. Hi, my name is Myra Juarez and I'm about to walk in into a Key Club meeting, so let's see what it's all about. Hey, my name is Tom Noon, and I am Century High School's Key Club president. Basically, what I do is I manage the officers, make sure they do their job, and I contact other schools, and I hold the meeting. Hi, my name is John. I am the club project chair, and I'm the one who finds events, which is a big part of this club because it's all about community service. Hi, my name is Isabel, and I'm a historian, and I do graphic designs for the club and take pictures and make the PowerPoints. I'm Monica Tavasoli and I'm the treasurer. I make sure the Key Club funds are spent wisely. Hi, I'm Akihara and I'm the Key Club secretary and my main job is to like write reports to the Lieutenant Governor to see how our club is doing. Brian Moreno, I am the VP of Key Club. My main task is to assist the, uh, the, the president and help him micromanage the rest of the board. Well, I have one more question for you guys. Um, how do you guys feel? All right. One, okay. two, three. We, we feel good. good. Oh, we feel good. Oh, we feel good. All the time. Awuga, 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 awuga. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some service in it. Ah, uh, some service. Ah, uh, ah, uh, some service. <laughs> All for Key Club. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Mara, for that informational video. Now for the quote of the week. That later. Okay. The sound of a kiss is not as loud as a cannon, but its echo lasts a great deal longer. By Oliver Wendell Holmes, an American jurist who served as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Well, I believe this is all we have for you all today. Jolly. Edith. Remember now. Don't be scared. Bye. <laughs>